And there lies a face-off advantage in this game for Redwoods with TD Merlin leading the league through his first four pro games. The NCAA's all-time leader in face-off wins. His opponent today, Jake Withers, under 50% each of the last two games. And this is really a one-on-three. TD wants to win the clamp and get the ground ball himself. Withers wants to create a three-man scrum. And right away, it's Withers pushing it ahead and going to goal, but his shot sails high, and there was no backup. Troutner got out of his net. Ryder Garnsey, his fourth goal for Miles Jones, his eighth assist. And this is a face-off win for TD Erland. While the heat wave on Long Island and much of the country finally broke, it was 95 degrees here. Hunts in Queens and grew up in Ronkonkoma, out east. Here on Long Island gets the first goal for Water Dogs, his third goal of the season. As Red Wing gains those two losses after five goals in the first two games of the season, and now he's got an early one here. Chris St. Cash in. Two goals in his first three games of the season. Now two goals in a minute and 41 second stretch for Kieran McCardle. Tini Erlin got the face off. Just on the crease, so I, you know, I'm grateful to be out here, and it's, you know, I've enjoyed hanging, my, hanging out with the boys. Welcome to the big leagues. Yes, thank you. All right, guys. All right, thanks, Paul. Walker taking the place of Michael Krause on the active roster for Water Dogs. Also, well done, Paul Burmeister. He helped guide us through the Tour de France early this morning, and here he is guiding us on the sidelines on Long Island for Redwoods and Water Dogs. And assists. And he's got a goal and an assist in this one. Here's T.D. Erlin off the faceoff, and his pass to Garnsey went awry. Water Dogs, after struggling offensively, they're cooking here. Connor Kelly with the goal. He's with Paul Burmeister. Connor, I know you're in a hurry to get back out there. What's going so well today that maybe wasn't there last week? I think we're trusting each other. We had a uh, coach talk. And then fine Henningberg. Now nine on the year for Jules Henningberg. And here with time winding down in the quarter, a clean win for Erlin. Quickly to Pinnell. That one off the outside of the net. Looked like it hit off of Ward. From CK at the end of the quarter certainly helped. Andy, thank you. Sure thing. Thanks, Paul. Water Dogs with eight total points a week ago. And they get closer to seven. Yeah, I think in the first half, they had a lot of second half opportunities. We just got to clean it up, and when we get a chance to pick up the ball, get, get a good possession, play some offense. We just need the ball a little bit more and have good solid possession. That is Rob Pinnell, who is closing in on entering the top five in pro lacrosse history in points. Aims to pass some guy by the name of Ryan Boyle, and he is right up against it after the goal here. Good. And today, you can see the insertion of Ethan Walker and a little bit more schematic nuances, let's call them, a little bit more creativity, generating some quality looks. Fight for the ground ball off that faceoff. Rylan Reese got it for Water Dog, sets up an opportunity for Brown. He scores again. The weather for this offense, too straight for Brown. Now 11 on the season, tying Zed Williams for the PLL lead. Although Zed Williams missed Sunday's game, it's on the board because of that two-pointer at the end of the first quarter from Connor Kelly, who has five points today. Four goals, or excuse me, three goals, including the two-pointer and an assist as well. As this will be Redwood's ball off the faceoff. Yep. And both of Ryder Garnsey's goals have been from Jones. Faceoff win for T.D. Erlin. Oh. Turn that corner there, Jules. What'd you see? Been in there not sliding. Passed the other two a couple of times. Got to turn the corner and get underneath. I'm going to slide him going. Thanks, Jules. He's also got to get that cap to work. Yes, he does. Jules Henningberg, his 10th goal of the season. He had 22 goals back in 2019 for Redwoods, who have closed within two. We talked about Dylan Ward's struggles and his save percentage so far this season. Last five shots on goal for Redwoods have all gone in. Final seconds here. The face-off and time will run down. What? You know, I turned to you kind of as we got deeper into that second quarter, just wondering if they were going to make a goalie change. Troutner just didn't seem to be seeing the ball all that well. And so Jack Kelly gets his feet underneath of him. This is a scramble off the face off, and it winds up being pushed out of bounds by Conrad and Waterdog. So Redwood's ball. Five. Stature. So it is tied again. This time, Withers jumped. And so the ball awarded 
TD Erlin combined. Uh, but no Ryan Lee the last couple of weeks. He's back at his natural spot of attack. Ryan, it seems to fit him well. Face-off win quite easily for Erlin against not a face-off guy in Zach Courier. Redwoods with the lead at 12-11. First time they've led in the game since it was 2-1. You know, Jack's just had a great week, and there was a couple times where, you know, we, we let a couple stick-side shots in, and listen, we've got a world team goalie backing up one of the best goalies in our league, so um, we felt like this was a good move to make, gave us a little bit of energy, he had a great save down here, and uh, nothing that... Celebration for Kyle Harrison as he is with Paul Burmeister. A little extra determination there from you, Kyle, after the almost on the two moments before. We got... Oh, we got some of that from Rob Pinnell, whether wreaking havoc on everybody. is Courier right off the face-off rocks right down Hempstead Turnpike. In seconds between the goals. How about the game from Courier? The three, through three quarters, three goals, three assists, six ground balls. And this one... He just goes right from the face-off. Nobody... Goaltender for Water Dogs. That is no longer Dylan Ward. Charlie Cipriano now in net for Water Dogs here in the closing seconds of the third quarter. 15-13 lead against Water Dogs is Charlie Cipriano from Herricks, about five miles from Hofstra. Took the backup spot this week from Matt DeLuca. Bertrand has really demonstrated a keen ability to cut over his first couple games. Charlie Bertrand made his pro debut last week in Baltimore, scored once. TD Erlen, another face-off win. That's his 21st today in today's sports betting line. Yeah, certainly there's, it's just harder to read off that wet turf. A little conversation here about which way this ball's going. And I, I have no science behind this, but just seems like with the wet turf, sometimes it may. He could have caught that and released it beyond the two-point arc. And this is an obviously huge face-off. And it's pulled out of there by T.D. Erlen. And a timeout immediately called by Nat St. Laurent. No withers that time. It was Ryan Conrad who had to take the face-off for Water Dogs. See, Conrad tries to jump over the top, and TD rotates until he's able to successfully clamp the ball, get it out, identify the open area in front, and with that.